Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another jewelry making video at my YouTube channel and my blog, HeapsakeCrafts.net. Today we're going to embrace the chunky and use these rather large drilled stones to make a bracelet. Sometimes unusually shaped beads can be difficult to work with, but I'll show you a couple tricks to make a really nice design. So if we were to string these chunky beads in a traditional way, perhaps alternating them with some spacers, it really wouldn't do much for the beads except emphasize the fact that they're quite irregular and, un and unusual in size and shape. So instead of alternating them this way, we're going to take a different approach. We'll still use spacers, but what if we were to cluster them, like in a group of three, and then we'll put three spacers. These brushed gold puffed rounds. The color and the shape kind of goes nicely with the rounded edges and the greens of these stones. And then we can just add a couple other pieces and maybe alternate these. And now we have an interesting design. It's balanced and yet somehow having these pieces not all quite so centered as we usually do helps to make the most of the interesting shapes and irregularities of these stones. Then all you need to do is string them. And to emphasize this gold color in these beads, I have this rather interesting and again kind of irregular and unusually shaped toggle clasp. And I started one end. Because these stones are so heavy, I've used a very heavy bead stringing wire. And I've also put on two crimp beads and I've alternated them with some four millimeter gold filled stardust beads. This will help lend some strength to the bracelet and if the weight should ever pull on one of the crimps, first of all it's buffered by the spacer beads and there's a second one. And so it's just a matter of stringing your beads onto your wire. Now remember that when you use a toggle clasp, the end with the bar always needs to be able to bend back in order to go through the whole of the loop. And that's another reason why I put these beads and spacers here, to make room for it. If I put this right up against one of these chunky beads, you wouldn't be able to operate it properly. And remember that when you're working with such chunky stones that you need to check the fit and add some length to it because the extra thickness means the bracelet needs to be longer. So then once we get down to the other end, I'm going to finish with two crimps. I'm going to slide on one and then my little stardust bead and then the second crimp and a wire protector. You especially want a wire protector again when you're using such heavy beads. Don't forget to put on the second piece of your clasp and then send this wire back through both crimps and your little stardust bead. So you see here, I had to abandon the, uh, the second stardust bead because the hole was actually too small for my wire to come back through a second time. And actually, before I put on my second crimp, I'm going to slide on a little dangle that I made just with a head pin and a few leftover beads. And I found a, an olive jade bead that kind of goes well with those stones. So I'm going to slide that on as a dangle. Once you have your wire back through both crimps, then just use your favorite crimping method to crimp them. I like the one-step crimper. It leaves a nice discreet crimp, so I really don't feel the need for a crimp cover. Then you trim your excess wire and your bracelet is done. So for links to the tools and materials used in this project, click here to go to the accompanying blog post. And here's another look at the project we made today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share, and leave me a comment. You can also share your ideas for future projects in the comments below, and I'll see if I can make you a video. If you're new here and haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do for three new video tutorials every week. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and on my blog. Happy creating! Bye-bye!